What is going on my friends? I am going to perform a tutorial on how to use the YGET app on your mobile device to connect to an Athena GET SX1 ECU through its Wi-Fi COM module. I will be doing this on the unit that is installed on my 2024 KTM 500 EXCF. So the first thing we need to do is download the app. This is the app you're looking for right here. Once you've located that, let's go ahead and install it. So I have found that it is best to wake up the bike's electrical system and connect to the Wi-Fi com prior to opening the app. So let's go ahead and go over a couple ways to energize the bike's electrical system and then we will get connected to the Wi-Fi com. Once you have your ECU and your Wi-Fi com installed and you have downloaded the YGET app, you need to wake up the bike or energize the Wi-Fi com so that you can connect to the YGET app. There are several ways you can do that. There are two ways that I think are pretty easy and I'll show you guys those now. The easiest way to do this is to simply bump the bike's start button. This will wake up the electrical system and allow you to connect to your mobile device and make any adjustments that you need to make in the mobile app. The limitation is that you have about three minutes to do this before you lose connection to the Wi-Fi com and then you will have to restart the process again. If you need more time to navigate the app to make adjustments to your ECU, a better way to do this is to locate this diagnostics plug, remove the cap from it. This is on a 24 model 500 EXCF and with the locking tab facing up and with the connectors toward you, you are going to take a pre-cut length of wire and jumper it between the bottom left and bottom center connection points. Get that wire in there and that will wake up the system. You can see that my Wi-Fi com is now flashing and I can leave this wire in here while I make my adjustments and send updates to the ECU. In order to log into the YGET app, you will need the SSID Wi-Fi com number and the PSW password login code. Get those off of your Wi-Fi com and when you locate the Wi-Fi com on your mobile device, you will need the password to log in. Now let's get connected to our Wi-Fi com. I am going to go through settings. Once you have located your Wi-Fi com, based on the number we previously pointed out, that's going to be the SSID number. Go ahead and select that. It may prompt you for the password. That's going to be the PSW number that we discussed. And now it says connected without internet. That's fine, that's what you're looking for. You don't need the internet to do this, you just need to be connected. So now we can go back to the app, open it up, and now you can see my bike is already in here. Um, normally when you get a new bike, you'll have to go into add vehicle and it will pick up the ECU and then it will give you a drop down for the make, model, year, so on and so forth. And you'll have to build your profile for your bike. Mine's already in here. So we're good to go. Now, the first thing you need to do before you do anything on this app is create a backup. So go into here. You see backup. That was on that top left drop down bar. Hit backup. I've already got one. But if you don't have one, you can see at the top right corner here, there's a plus. You can create a backup for yourself. Do that right away, and then you're gonna do it a second time. You're going to go into the profile for your bike. Then you get this screen here at the factory maps, custom maps, read ECU. Go to custom maps. And same thing here. You can see I've already backed it up, but what you'll do, for example, I'm going to back up just another one just to show you guys. Pull up the map and then on this chart for the ignition map, double click on that. 
and it's going to pull up the screen where you could normally make adjustments but before it lets you make adjustments it asks you to create a backup map before editing you're going to hit yes now your map has been executed okay now just go back and double check that you got that backup map now you are ready to start utilizing this you've got some security now that you have the backup map that way if you get in here and start messing around with things in your ignition or your fueling and it doesn't work out and you have issues and you can't remember what you did you can just get rid of that bad map and you've got your backup map to start over so that's important you guys now I'm just gonna go over a couple things in this video this isn't intended to be like a full-on why get tutorial I just want to get you guys connected so that we can be ready as we move forward to start going over particular subjects in the future and more videos but I will point out a couple things that is good for everyone to know, even new people that aren't very technical. First is, let's go into the factory maps. These maps are pre-programmed out of the factory by Athena Get, and it's very easy to upload them. So if you want to try out one of these, you could just go right into it. We'll just do the first one for the sake of demonstration. And then you see this arrow, this up arrow at the top right corner. When you press that, it's going to ask you to update ECU. You can hit yes or no if you're ready. I'll just do yes just to show you guys how it goes. Now it's literally sending that data to the ECU right now on my bike. ECU is updated. So now my bike is set up with the flat map. Simple as that, you guys. So you can do that, repeat that process and put any map, or you can go back to the standard map that your ECU is shipped with. Now I'm back to my standard map, simple, easy as that. Another thing we should point out while we're in here, some things that, again, just the average person might be interested in using. Down here on this bottom bar at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see where it says tuning, service, monitor, options. Monitor is a tool you can use for diagnostics and maintenance. This is going to show you live data on your machine. Like if the bike was running, I would see the active RPM. That'll change when you're actually revving the bike. You can see actual temperatures, voltage, gear position. So you, you get a lot of information in here that you can use. This is important to know because not only can you use it to self-diagnose and perform maintenance on your machine, but if you end up having to reach out to the distributor or someone that's helping you with an issue that you could potentially have on an ECU, they're probably going to ask you to see this data. So you need to be aware, aware of how to get here and what to look for. And you may need to take a screenshot or repeat some of that information. You got another monitor in there that you can see more data and some live feeds when the bike is running. So that's important to know. So I'm going to leave it at that for now, guys. There's a lot of other functions to go over in this app. But like I say, we'll get back to more of this in the future. So you guys know what to do. Hit me up in the comments with any questions you have or any remarks you have. And I'll get to them as I can. And just expect to see more on this as we'll dive into particulars as time goes on. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.